Dear learners, we have earlier discussed about the role and health benefits of macro minerals. Now, in this part of the module, we shall take up trace elements also known as micro minerals, which include iron, zinc, copper, selenium and chromium. Now, these differ from the macro minerals in terms of the daily requirements. They play vital role in numerous regulatory mechanisms in the body. Health benefits based on clinical studies and meta-analysis of these trace elements in addition to their physiological role in the body will be discussed. Now, coming to the first trace element, iron. Iron is an essential component of hemoglobin, which is an erythrocyte protein that transfers oxygen from the lungs to the tissues. As a component of myoglobin, a protein that provides oxygen to the muscles, iron is known to support metabolism. Iron is also necessary for growth, development, normal cellular functioning and synthesis of some hormones and connective tissue. Now, besides the physiological significance of iron, there are health benefits associated with iron and it is known to promote healthy pregnancy, increased energy and better athletic performance by virtue of increasing the oxygen carrying capacity. Now, coming to the next trace element that is zinc. Now, zinc is a trace element which is essential to the structure and function of numerous macromolecules including enzymes, regulating cellular processes and cellular signaling pathways. The mineral is known to modulate immune response and exhibit antioxidant and anti-inflammatory activity in the body. Zinc retards oxidative processes on a long term basis by inducing the expression of metallothionines. These metal binding cysteine rich proteins are responsible for maintaining zinc related cell homeostasis and act as potent electrophilic scavengers as well as cytoprotective agents. Now, let us see what are the health benefits associated with the intake of zinc. Now, the role of zinc as an antioxidant is very well known. Zinc increases the activation of antioxidant proteins and enzymes such as glutathione and catalase. On the other hand, zinc exerts its antioxidant effect via two acute mechanisms, one of which is the stabilization of protein sulfhydrils against oxidation. The second mechanism consists in antagonizing transition metal catalyzed reactions. Now, zinc can exchange redox active metals such as copper and iron in certain binding sites and attenuate cellular site specific oxidative injury. Now, zinc and its benefits to the central nervous system. Zinc induces brain derived neurotropic factor gene expression. Clinical observations have demonstrated serum hypozincemia in depression, which was normalized by effective antidepressant treatment. The benefit of zinc supplementation in antidepressant therapy in treatment of non-resistant and resistant patients has been well documented. Thus, 
zinc homeostasis is relevant in psychopathology as well as in depression therapy. Now, role of zinc in wound healing, topical administration of zinc appears to be superior to oral therapy. This is basically due to its action in reducing super infections and necrotic material via enhanced local defense systems, collagenolytic activity and sustained release of zinc ions that stimulates epithelialization of wounds in normal zincemic individuals. Now, let us now move on to copper. Copper is necessary for hematologic and neurologic systems in the body. It is a constituent of several enzymes and proteins, most of which catalyze oxidation as well as reduction reactions. Now, it is necessary for the growth and formation of bone, formation of myelin sheets, helps in the incorporation of iron in hemoglobin, assists in the absorption of iron from the gastrointestinal tract and in the transfer of iron from tissues to the plasma. Copper appears to influence gene expression through binding to specific transcription factors. Now, learners we see that copper has got significant role in the body in addition to which it is known to have a number of health benefits too. Now, health benefits of copper as related to rheumatoid arthritis. We all know that rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic autoimmune based disease of the connective tissue with still unknown etiology. Numerous studies have indicated the association between copper and ceruloplasmin concentrations and pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis. The anti-inflammatory action of copper assists in reducing the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. Now, role of copper as a brain stimulant. Copper is widely known as a brain stimulant. Foods rich in copper are often classified as brain foods. Studies have shown a direct link between its content with the brain and creative thinking showing that it enables neural pathways to develop in unique ways. Now, benefits of copper with respect to aging, copper is a strong antioxidant which works in the presence of antioxidant enzyme superoxide dismutase to safeguard cell membranes from free radicals of different organs. Now, specific studies have been done in terms of their effects on aging, wrinkles, macular degeneration and kidney malfunctions. Enough copper in the diet has been reported to prevent premature aging. Now, studies have also shown that copper can destroy or inhibit the growth of E. coli in the gastrointestinal tract. Now, role of copper with respect to uh, cholesterol levels, copper is known to reduce the levels of low density lipoprotein cholesterol and help to increase the high density lipoprotein. This lowers the chances of vascular disease like atherosclerosis, heart attack and stroke. Now, health benefits of copper as associated to immunity. The immune system requires copper to perform several functions of which little is known about the direct mechanism of action. Some of the recent research showed that interleukin 2 is reduced in copper deficiency and it is likely the mechanism by which T cell proliferation is reduced. 
Now, we move on to the next trace element that is selenium. Selenium as we all know is an important component of all antioxidant enzymes. The D iodinases that is type 1, 2 and 3 are selenium containing enzymes that play important roles in the thyroid hormone metabolism. Selenocysteine is recognized as the 21st amino acid and it forms selenoproteins and selenoenzymes in biological tissues. Because of their antioxidant activity, there has been a tremendous interest in the study of selenium and its compounds, especially in cancer prevention, heart disease and immunity. Now, let us see the health benefits of selenium as related to heart diseases, the increased production of reactive oxygen species can exert oxidative stress in the physiological system and if excess reactive oxygen species are not properly regulated, they can cause damage to cellular lipids, proteins and DNA. The presence of reactive oxygen species can cause the oxidation of low density lipoprotein and it has been reported to be associated with the initiation of atherogenesis in heart diseases. The presence of selenoproteins which is found mainly in plasma may play a significant role in regulating the plasma cholesterol level by protecting the low density lipoprotein oxidation from reactive oxygen species and the prevention of atherosclerosis. Now coming to the role of selenium in cancer, evidence from human epidemiological studies has increasingly indicated an inverse relationship between selenium status and cancer risk in human population. The hallmark study of Clark and colleagues reported that people who supplemented their diet with selenized yeast predominantly in the form of selenomethionine about 200 micrograms per day had a reduction of nearly 50 percent in overall cancer morbidity. Other possible anti-cancer mechanisms of selenium include the induction of apoptosis, cell cycle arrest and DNA repair genes, inhibition of cell growth and effect on estrogen and androgen receptor expression. Then role of selenium in immunity and thyroid hormones. Selenium has a beneficial effect on the reduction of antibody load in autoimmune thyroiditis, a euthyroidism or hypothyroidism that can be caused by a number of factors such as the presence of cytotoxic T lymphocyte A4 promoter, iodide intake, immunotherapeutic agents and viral infections. Selenium supplementation has resulted in the improvement of inflammatory activity in patients with auto, autoimmune thyroiditis. Now coming to the next trace mineral that is chromium. Chromium is required by the body in minute amounts for the metabolism of glucose. Chromium is biologically active as a part of oligopeptide chromodulin potentiating the effect of insulin by facilitating insulin binding to receptors at the cell surface. With chromium acting as a cofactor of insulin, its activity in the organism is parallel to insulin functions. Health benefits of chromium as related to hormone regulation, a number of studies confirm the association between chromium 
and the metabolism during increased physiological, pathological and nutritional stress, example fatigue, trauma, gestation and different forms of nutritional that is high carbohydrate diet, metabolic, physical and emotional stress as well as environmental effects. Under stress secretion of the cortisol increases acting as an insulin antagonist through increasing the blood glucose concentration and reduction of glucose utilization by the peripheral tissues. Increased blood glucose levels stimulate the mobilization of the chromium reserve which is then irreversibly excreted in the urine. Chromium excretion in the urine is enhanced by all the stress inducing factors that we have discussed earlier. Now coming to the role of uh, chromium as related to insulin, chromium has an improving effect on insulin binding and increases the number of insulin receptors on the self surface and sensitivity of pancreatic beta cells together with an overall increase of insulin sensitivity. Chromium also acts as a cofactor for insulin and therefore chromium activity in the organism is parallel to insulin functions that is supposed to be the most important health benefit of chromium. However, despite enhancing insulin activity, chromium cannot substitute insulin. Now the role of chromium in immune function, although chromium is believed to have different kinds of inborn humoral and cellular immunomodulatory effects, the underlying mechanism of intercellular and intracellular action still remains unknown. The immune function may be affected in association with insulin and or cortisol activity, but it can just as well be mediated by production of regulation of certain cytokines. Now role of chromium in lipid metabolism, evidence of a role for of chromium in lipid metabolism has been shown. Now deficiency of chromium leads to the development of atherosclerosis and this is based on results accumulating from animal and human studies. Research evidence also suggests that chromium decreases serum cholesterol and raises high density lipoprotein. Then coming to health benefits of chromium as related to lean body mass, studies have shown that in patients maintained on total parental nutrition, weight loss was ameliorated when chromium was included in the TPN solution. It has been suggested that chromium has a role in increasing the lean body mass. Now learners, we come to the conclusion of this part where we have dealt with some of the trace elements. Now from the foregoing discussion on trace elements, we have seen learners that iron has an important role to play as heme protein in cellular respiration as well as oxygen transport, zinc metalloenzymes function in lipid, protein, carbohydrate and nucleic acid metabolism, copper mediates in iron absorption and incorporation into heme moiety, selenium serves to protect cells from damage by lipid peroxidation, chromium is a cofactor in insulin function. It is significant to note 
that these elements show potential benefits in with respect to central nervous system, brain function, hormone regulation, insulin effects, aging, immune function, heart disease and cancer. Research studies continue to evaluate the mechanisms underlying the benefits of these trace minerals and offers unlimited data which of course still needs to be validated.